interesting because of how ridiculous this is. You might not be able to see it, but uh, we're having a, a winter remix. <laughs> you know, that thing that's the winter remix in the spring. It was like 70 degrees, 70 degrees the other night, so this is fun. Well, the path will have to wait. The garden will have to wait. The magnolia tree is not even blooming. It's not spring right now. Okay. The whole time I was out here, it drizzled. <laughs> But it kept like little little silhouettes underneath everything dry. <laughs> Not the weirdest thing, but maybe it's just the first time I'm noticing. I'm okay, guys. <laughs> Hi again. I'm like randomly recording right now because I do. I keep saying like I start out the day saying I want to record something today. I want to record something fun. And then uh, I do the things I have to do, and then when Donovan goes to bed, I just don't have the energy. Like, by the end of the day, I don't have the energy to do anything. I just sit there, and I'm just like, I want to do that, I want to write something, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then I just kind of stare at the TV, zone out, and often pass out for a little bit. Then when I want to go upstairs to go to sleep, I'm wide awake, so that's fun. Uh, I don't think I'm the only one who's in this boat of just trying to feel normal and then remembering uh, what's going on and feeling just uncomfortable, um, for lack of a better way to say it. Uh, scary, scary, creepy, weird, uncomfortable, um, strange, uh, everyone says unprecedented. Um, I'm really just talking right now just to try to distract myself and whoever else might be watching this, but I'm, I'm having a hard time not just continuing to feel just I'm sure it's just like the stages of grief thing because I feel like every time there's some sort of loss whether it's a temporary one or not you go through those stages the the depression the denial the acceptance the bargaining not in that order you know all those stages those stages okay this is just how things are right now I feel like I'm in a dream this isn't real I wish if we could only just, like, if in a couple of weeks this blows over, I mean, if, I would be so happy if, if you're in the same boat, then understand that it's because we're all kind of grieving our, our normal everyday routines right now, kind of. I guess that's the way to put it. I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist, any type of person who knows that. This is just my observation in my brain because of life. It feels like the stages of grief to me. I've been through them so many times. Um, Sometimes quickly, sometimes very slowly. It's very ridiculous. You know this already if you've watched anything I've done because I ramble and I say stupid things, especially now when I'm just stressed. I have no makeup on, so I gotta take a shower, my hair is greasy, I'm like I'm doing the things I have to, like work obviously, taking care of my son. It's cold and I'm frustrated like everybody else. You know what? I do need to plan out what I say more when I'm talking like this. Uh, unless people don't mind the stream of consciousness stuff for me, but obviously I have like, what, two subscribers now? <laughs> no, I have more. Anyone who watches my videos and genuinely actually cares, hi. Thank you very much. I hope everybody who comes across this, or who doesn't, but you wouldn't hear this anyway, to stay safe, stay healthy. Um, in all the ways, physically, mentally, financially, we're doing okay. We're in an okay boat. So, like, a lot of people are in an okay boat, but still in the back of their heads, they're like, but what if? And that's not fun either. I just wanted to walk around and record something because it's been a while. I have something stupid on Twitter. I did a... a a parody song of Billy Joel's uh, Honesty. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know about you, but watching some people talk about something that other than how they've been feeling and coping sometimes is distracting for all of two seconds and then you're just like, why are they talking about this? Like, unless it's an old video. If it's an old video, sometimes it's a little easier because you're like, they didn't have these worries and cares. Oh, how sweet and young they were. You know, like, and now it's just like, it's not relatable. And some people who are feeling that way, but are able to stay home, like with such ease and 
worry free of anything but just the virus that's helpful to them but it's sometimes frustrating to watch too sometimes sometimes it's distracting you in the same boat <laughs> are you in the same boat i was in the wrong place i forgot where the camera was i have been so accident prone since any all of this started to begin with and at first i didn't realize how much it was in my head and then i, I burned myself see this is from our air fryer if you ever see this on my hand, you're like, oh, she's had that bruise a long time. It's not a bruise, it's a scar. It was a burn. I cut my finger, I think before that actually, or was it after? I have a, a new scar on my, sorry, it's on my middle finger, but it is. My knife skills, they're not amazing. They're just regular. This is because I'm so stupid. Outside when I was doing the gardening, I was raking up leaves and my husband was working, he wasn't able to help me, and I was just, I had just clocked out, Jonathan was upstairs, I had time to rake leaves. And I had to put the bag on the back of one of our outdoor chairs, like I just kind of folded over so the chair was kind of holding the bag open for me. I was throwing the leaves in the bag, <laughs> and then I pushed down, <laughs> like I bent over to push the leaves down, stupidly forgetting this is a, a light resin chair, plastic chair I mean, so the back of the chair that was holding the bag just did. Poof. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and it, it bled a tiny bit. It looks like a bruise now. So this is distraction, but now I just remembered again. And now I'm, it's, by the way, if anyone is wondering, I, I'm imagining this is what hallucin uh, not hallucination, oh my God, hypnotism is like. When they say some people can't get hypnotized, I think it's for this type of reason. The people who can distract themselves easily and can take themselves out of a situation easily, I feel like those people are much better at being, oh my god, the word, I swear to you the word just left me and I just said it. This is stress. <laughs> Hello, hi, yes, hypnotized. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go, I was distracting myself and now I no longer can do so because I have to, I have to clock in. <laughs> it was great rambling i actually did distract myself for a while and i hope anyone watching this was also like what the hell is wrong with her for long enough to feel normal for maybe a few seconds good health everybody good health <laughs>